Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Lingley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And guys, we have something that is breaking. This is a bombshell. The DOJ and the ATF, they took the bait. They have now appealed the machine gun case that we covered last uh, last month around uh, Kansas and the judge saying the machine guns could not be blocked by unconstitutional orders like the Bruin decision says. Yeah, this one is massive. They have taken the bait. This could undermine the NFA in time. Guys, you're going to want to send this one out. You're going to see every detail. It's linked into the description box below. Let me hear you in the comments. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on if you want to spread freedom from one coast to the other in this amazing nation. And thank you for that consideration. And as we're getting into this, speaking of spreading freedom to and fro, our sponsor, SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute, a lot of you guys upgrade and modify your own guns at home, so why would you not do it to make it into your own career? They offer your courses, things like armorers courses, finishing uh, wood and finishing of the actual firearms themselves and the actual um, furniture, has gunsmithing. Everything is linked in the description box below and you can turn that hobby into a career. They have drone courses as well. Check it out, it is worth your time. Like I said, link in the description box below, but turn that hobby into something you can actually make a future out of, and thank you to them for making this content possible. All right, people, listen. This is the midday snack. We always do these if something pops and something's popping. Check this out. Appeal filed in Kansas machine gun case. Now this is big, because if you do not recall this, this is where a Kansas judge said, hey, you can't ban machine guns, you can't hold them against the plaintiff because the Bruin decision says there's no history for banning full autos. That's the background. We said at the time it was a big deal, now it's a big freaking deal. Here we go. The U.S. government, DOJ, Merrick Garland, all of them, Kansas. The U.S. government is appealing a ruling in the case of a Kansas man who was charged with possessing machine guns. Last month, U.S. District Court of Kansas dismissed the case. We covered it right here. United States Attorney for the District of Kansas, Kate E. Brobachar, sure, filed a motion to appeal the ruling under the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit on Monday. The action came six days prior to the 30-day appeal window. So they were running out of time to appeal it, and it was either going to be fixed as precedent or they were going to appeal it to a higher court. They just appealed it to a higher court. This is the process. The exact same thing happened with Rahimi. The exact same thing happened with Looper Enterprises with the uh, whole herring fisherman smoking the ATF and executive bureaucracies. And it happened with the Bruin decision. Guys, this is how the wheels of justice go. Check this out. Quote, Usually, the petitioner's brief is due 40 days after everything gets set up, Jackson said. After that, the respondent gets 30 days to file a brief. In the meantime, the court sets the case for argument, which usually takes around three months, more or less, from the time the last brief is filed. According to Jackson, the appeal process could take five to six months, but could take longer or shorter. He said the Tenth Circuit has the fastest resolution time of all federal courts, but wasn't expecting movement anytime soon. In the original order, the court dismissed the case before after it found the plain text of the Second Amendment does not cover the possession of the machine guns. That is it in a nutshell. We covered this in the district court when it was actually coming down out of Kansas. This is the linchpin right there. The plain text of the Second Amendment does not cover the possession of machine guns, referencing back to the Bruin decision, history, text, and tradition. Everything is coming together for this tapestry of freedom that we always talk about. This case has the potential in time through the court system to undermine the NFA and its ban on full autos. Also, it's ban on suppressors. Also, it's ban on SBRs. Guys, this is a big one. Can't tell you where it's going to go, but I can tell you the potential is great. All right, here we go. The decision by Judge John Brooms hinged on the Bruin and Rahimi requirement to demonstrate historical analogs that prove the ban is consistent with the nation's history. Brooms found the government hadn't met its burden to prove historical analogs because they do not exist. Guys, this is a big one. Like, it's hard to under or overestimate this. To summarize, in this case, the government has not met its burden under Bruin and Rahimi to demonstrate through historical analogs that regulation of the weapons at issue in this case are consistent with the nation's history of firearms regulation. Indeed, the government has barely tried to meet that burden, the case document read. And like I said earlier, this is one of the midday snack videos, but this is a breaking one. This is a bombshell one. 
the DOJ could have let it expire and not appeal it, they've appealed it. That means it goes to the 10th Circuit Court. They go through the entire process again, and if they do not get a favorable option, the defendants, or the plaintiffs in this case, actually the plaintiffs, which would be the uh, people who said, hey, you can't uh, you know, ban machine guns because Bruin, they actually get to push it to the Supreme Court if they give an unfavorable ruling. If they give a favorable ruling and saying, yeah, the Bruin decision is correct, and you can't actually ban machine guns, that means the DOJ and the ATF have to push it up to the Supreme Court. Guys, this is a big one. And the balls are just starting to roll. Hopefully, this is like a snowball, go snowball going straight downhill in freshly, amazingly minted ice and snow, which will only make the snowball even harder and worse for the gun controllers to take right in the face and the ATF and the DOJ at the bottom of the hill. That's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.